What's happening, fam? Uh, LAR movement still moving. You see the thumbnail. It's about to go down. <laughs> so, let's just talk about you undivestors, you know. I'm done with it. I'm moving on to people who are better and a better culture and better. Hmm. Are you really? Are you really? You know, we used to talk about, you know, being on social, not on social media, but yeah, social media, online, on dating sites. And dating, you used to get the, the ladies who know black men. Okay. And then all of a sudden, you know, she winds up on a third season of Ghetto Gaggers, and then she... <laughs> I love you, King. I would never deal with those guys. They're racist and they're evil. and they're, huh. I'm hurt. So when we say who hurt you, we're talking about who you divested, divested to, right? Because when if we hurt you, you divesting. But if they hurt you, then you just coming back, you know, like a dog with your tail between your legs. Because, you know, oh, Opie Cunningham, had you drinking vomit out of a doggy bowl. You know. You had all these standards. All these standards. Prior to old Opie Cunningham. You got Opie He need to be six foot three, 250 pounds, with 6% body fat, chiseled, needs to be a millionaire. Um... Uh, Highly intellectual, smarter than Tony Stark and T'Challa put together. Uh, he has to be hung like Lexington Steel, and he has to scream the same way when we when we in the bed. He got, you know, when he shoot up the club, and then uh, these men are no good; they're dogs. And then you divest, and then. You wind up dating Danny DeVito. Uh, you know what? Or, or uh, what, was, what was the dentist from um, from uh, The Hangover? You know what I'm saying? You dating a dentist from The Hangover. Not a big deal. You know, not a big deal. Guy could be questionable in his manhood or sexuality. It's not a big deal to you. But then... All of a sudden, it was down with the patriarchy. And then, you know, then they are real men and I can follow their lead. And then they tell you to do something. And you say, okay. Then you say, okay, again. Then you say, okay, again. And then you tied up in the basement, you know, with your feet and hands shackled down like in a wood thing. And they just using some electric driller just to tear to tear into you and you you got a mouth gag on you he just sitting there pumping away and then you start crying and you start realizing I've never been so disrespected in my life and he like whatever take this you know he didn't he didn't cut the uh the automatic driller on on nine thousand he he go cooling you right now <laughs> You sitting there, oh, this is the greatest feeling ever, but I'm never calling the police because this is illegal because I want to say no, but I can't consent and not consent because I'm, I'm tied up and gagged now, so I can't say anything. What can I prove? Uh, and then you go home and you cry yourself to sleep like the crying games. And um, then all of a sudden, you know, you back. You know, you might wind up getting a uh, aunt tattooed on yourself or something. Might be wearing African, you know, clothes, garb, or whatever. God forbid if you divest and you go over to Dubai. Oh, 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 boy. Y'all talking about R. Kelly. Boy, no, 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 no. No, man. You know, R. Abdullah over there. Ooh, rolling around, sitting on dubs. Can't lie, I was high on shrubs, rolling in my Escalade, saying, man, I got it made. Listen, y'all know the rest of the song. Haters wanna hate, lovers wanna love. 
I don't even want none of the above. I want to. Yes, I do. Help on you. Help on you. Uh, but now you're ready to divest. You know, you, you know, you need to, the, the man had to have all this money. And now all of a sudden you shelling out money every minute for this guy. You're doing stuff for this guy. You paying his bills. You know, he he got that divestment whip appeal, and now you baby face. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you realize, wait, the guys that you said were no good and were dogs and were cheaters and were broke, they spent more money on you than the divester. Now you tricking. You know, everybody plays a fool sometimes. And God forbid you double divest and then you talk about one guy in the other community and you talk about another guy and then they start to put you out of the community and you say, I left by choice. No, you left by boot. That's what happened. You left by boot. They they punished you. They they, they just tuckered you. They kicked you completely out. You know, it's good. Anyway, but tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Am I lying? Am I lying? I'm not, but let's go with it. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Peace.